Hello, as the name suggests, we are going to learn about Armin Backup Recovery Mechanism of Oracle, which is the most essential but the most ignored by many of the DBAs in today's industry. Hence, we will try and cover Armin to the core as much as possible in this and in all our coming sessions. Armin, as the name suggests, is a recovery manager and is one of the most essential tool and a backbone of Oracle. Now, to begin with the evolution of Armin. As you can see, Armin is an evolution to excellence. Every one of us knows that in the DBA's perspective, in the DBA's world. So from where we got into Recovery Manager, or then from where did Oracle invented or you could say introduced Recovery Manager or Armin for helping DBA's like you and me. Armin was introduced by Oracle in version 803. First production release of Oracle 8. Okay. So prior to this, what was the backup mechanism? Prior to this, Oracle provided interface for streaming backup directly to tape. Involved logical backup using the export utility, which is still used. The export utility vastly. Now, as you know that Oracle introduced it in 803, so what happened next? What happened next was with the release of Oracle 9i. You know, it was a boom in an Oracle industry with the release of Oracle 9i. Armin reached a full upright walking position. It has truly become a necessary component in any serious strategy for a highly available database system. Armin has continued its evolution into a fully functional availability partner. Hence, I stress the blood, the sweat and the tear you pour in Armin will give you huge payoffs. So my friends, you have to concentrate on Armin very much. You'll see this in the due course, during the duration of the course. Okay. So, let's get started. So, getting started with Armin in Oracle 11G, basically. Now, what we will begin with is the introduction to Armin architecture. Now, as I have already stated, R-M-A-N, Armin, it stands for Recovery Manager. What is SMR? Before looking into Recovery Manager, let us first understand what is SMR. Okay, SMR is your uh, server managed recovery. Armin manage or implements a type of server managed recovery. Okay, so now what is server managed recovery? Server managed recovery refers to the ability of a database to perform the operation required to keep itself backed up successfully. Okay. It does so by relying on built-in code in the Oracle RDBMS kernel. Okay, so granted the utilization of Armin introduced certain, you know, complexity that uh, overshadowed uh, the complete level of ease that might be promised by SMR. And we'll see how it has been done. So now, next thing, what is the Armin utility? Okay, Armin basically is a standalone application that makes a client connection to the Oracle database to access internal backup and recovery packages. It is at its very core nothing more than a command line interpret that takes a simplified command U type and turns that command into a remote procedure call or as we know RPCs that are executed at backend and we everybody are aware that uh, oracle works on command line interpreter and hence armin also works on command line interpreter now 
something that I would like to stress here is that Armin does very little work. Sure. Now that's how. The coordination of event is important. But the real work of actually backing up and recovering the database is performed by the target database. Okay. Now what is the target database? The target database refers to the database that's been backed up. So, now what we know is that majority of the task is being done by the target database. And what Armin does? It just write few command which is later on compiled and then taken to the target database. And the backing up and the recovery is done by the target database. Now, how do we get Armin? Do we have to pay separately for Armin? Because Oracle once I don't don't provide anything for free. Yes, but uh, when it comes to Armin, the Armin utility is installed as a part of database. Okay, so when you install the database, the Armin comes along with it for free. Okay, so where do we have it in standard edition do we have it in enterprise edition of course yes we have it in both we have it in standard as well as enterprise edition although there are restrictions if you have license only for standard edition without Armin, without enterprise editions there are few restrictions okay so it's always better to have enterprise edition so now the two important things that is the executable files and the recovery.bsq files so the armin utility is made up of basically two pieces as mentioned here the executable files and the recovery.bsq files now what these two things do what these two files are basically for 